Hello, welcome back to Rita's Kitchen. What's cooking? A super, super simple dish today, but so important and mandatory, especially in my life um, and for everyone who loves carbs. I am making a long grain basmati rice. Uh, you can use the same recipe for like the Uncle Ben's rice, uh, sticky rice and stuff like that, or Thai rice is a little bit different, so it's a bit more tricky, the sticky. Sorry, I know you guys love my puns. I just finished making uh, the Punjabi curry. I don't know if you guys already saw that video, but just a sneak peek, that's what it looks like. So that's why that pot is on there. It's been soaking for about 20 minutes. You don't need to soak your rice at all. It just cuts down the cooking time a little bit. Just wash it though, wash the rice. It is so important with white rice to wash it because you really want to get that starch off. So I am cooking white rice and brown rice again is gonna be a little bit different and I will do another video for brown rice. It just requires more cooking time. I am making two cups of rice and I'll show you the cup I'm using. Lo and behold, the old school corningware cup which every Indian household has. And if you don't, then are you really Indian? The proportion to one cup of rice is one and a half cup of water. So I'm gonna drain this water and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat on to high. At the same time, I am going to go ahead and drop my rice in there. I am going to add some salt. If you didn't watch the other video, I use rock salt because it is so much healthier and one of the purest forms of salt out there and unprocessed. I've, I've already got enough salt in my curry, but I do like to add a little bit of salt in my rice so that the flavor of the curry is still balanced. And depending on what I'm eating it with, so if it's usually an Indian dish, I use ghee. Actually, that's a lie. I use ghee all the time. I lived in South India for a long time and ghee or purified butter, um, as it is, is so popular and so commonly used. So I'm gonna add just a bit of it in there, like half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. Um, this just helps kind of with the rice after it's done cooking. It just like, you know, it makes it nice and fluffy and loose so it's not like stuck together. And that's um, one of the other reasons you wanna wash the rice too, so that when you get rid of the starch, um, you get that nice kind of fluffy finish on the rice and it's not like super stuck together. Like sticky rice. All right, so my Alexa is acting up again. It's because I said her name. I did add the, the purified butter before the water's actually heated up, which is fine. It's just gonna heat up and melt. But you just want to make sure before you cover it, you do stir it so you don't end up with like one chunk in one spot. Set my timer for four minutes. It is boiling, as you can see. I am now going to turn my heat down between low and medium. I am going to set my timer to 12 minutes. Give it a nice stir. All right. Cover it up. Go about your business. Do your thing, do whatever you gotta do. I got some dishes from the previous uh, episode. And I'll see you guys in 11 minutes. I am about to beep in four, three, two, one. So off. <laughs> Literally turning my stove off. And because my rice was soaking a bit longer, I'm just gonna take it right off the heat. I don't even need it to be on there anymore. Don't worry about that. 12 minutes, leave it on there. Leave it covered. So I just wanted to show you guys, timer goes off, turn it off. Make sure you have a timer, please. Y'all ready for this? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ta-da! Nice and cooked and hot and steamy. I like to break it up a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. So just. Look at how it fluffs up. It is not even a little bit stuck together. Well, bon appetit to whatever you're eating your rice with tonight, uh, or whatever you're eating your curry with tonight if you watched that video. There you have it. You can't even see the rice. Good thing I showed it to you before. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon in some kitchen somewhere for Rita's Kitchen, what's cooking? Life.